how can we make men feel safer to express themselves without feeling looked down upon? How can spouses learn to listen with empathy? Mm -hmm. Beautiful question. Um, women do need to understand because of the culture um, of big boys don't cry and men are meant to man up and not show emotion and express, one needs to tr establish trust so that the man can feel safe and vulnerable. You need to make sure. I remember my husband would tell me things in confidence. And when I'm angry, and this is in the early years, I'm, I'm reformed now, I'm a better girl. Um, but in the early years, I would use what he has told me in confidence against him. And of course, that would be, you know, picture a snail going back into its cave, you know, in its little shell. That's basically what it is. You can never violate the trust. You can never talk about your spouse with anybody. Wallahi, it isn't healthy unless it's good things and even good things too. Less is more. I believe that as a, you know, a policy. Um, so learn to help your spouse um, unpack. That's why things like baggage for me are really critical in making sure you address unresolved issues you raise you know other experiences you went through that were unpleasant when growing up I have a bunch of cards that I'm about to um, launch soon called connecting cards and these are cards that have over 80 questions that you can play and discuss but it's not a game it's actually real it's raw it's unfiltered and it gives you something to talk about to know each other better to hopefully establish trust um, allow you both to be vulnerable and express things that some Sometimes were unpleasant, but happened and are weighing you down and you feel you're in a safe space. I'm with the person who will be my garment, who will hold what I've told them as an amana. And so for the women, that's what I advise. For the men, um, for me, I, alhamdulillah, I grew up seeing amazing men who cried, who expressed when they were sad, who expressed fear. And so we raised our two boys in the same manner to say what they feel. So say it. How are you feeling? Um, I don't know. Describe it, you know, so you peel the layers and go deeper into getting them to unpack because it's going to serve them better in their future relationships for the men, it's for your own sake, for your health sake, even statistically, if you see the rate, um, the mortality rate of men versus women, you find we who talk too much, sometimes too, too much, um, our own can go overboard, but that ability to just say and express is um, prevents that pressure cooker feeling, whereas for the men, they could end up exploding because they have so many unresolved issues and they've bottled up so much and they're carrying the world on their shoulders um, that you need to know the person you married um, is meant to be your confidant, your best friend, the person you can be your true self around and start to establish that kind of relationship at that level where there is trust as the currency you interact with because that will allow you to be able to hold the amana of what you tell each other um, and it will allow you to be healthier and develop a healthier bond between each other because you're able to be vulnerable and say what you're really feeling so for me I think that's the advice I would give. Okay.